Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steve, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about AI generative music NFTs. And they did put me on. If you want to listen to these stories as part of my radio show, I do a Spotify exclusive radio show where I talk about all of these stories alongside a curated selection from my Put You On playlist network. This is going to be a House Music Friday episode, so the link is in the description if you want to head over to Spotify and listen to the radio show. But if you're here on YouTube, then today I'm going to be going over two companies that are leading the space in generative NFT music. That is Beat Foundry and Sound Mint. So first off, what is generative NFT projects in the first place? So AI generative NFTs have become a new art genre. So they're known as AI generative NFTs, and they're becoming increasingly popular within the art community, especially those who are interested in artificial intelligence, blockchain, and the metaverse. So in order to create AI generative NFTs, typically people use generative adversarial networks or GANs. These are essentially algorithms that leverage computers to use data to train models to produce machine made images resembling art. Now, what about generative music NFTs? So it's similar where the art pieces are stems, right? Or pieces of songs. And then when layered on top of each other, they make a new song. That's like any production of a song, right? Any production of a song has stems, has different layers of the song compiled on top of each other. So the more sounds, the more variations that can be generated. So let's talk about Soundmint first, okay? So on their website, which is very cool, by the way, um, they talk about how Soundmint's NFT drops are musical compositions derived from stems with varying acoustic properties algorithmically combined to create a set of unique 30-second musical art pieces. So as a new form of generative music, the NFTs are paired with the visual elements as well, each as a variant of the music itself. So Salomon's platform reimagines the process of creating new art from music. And then again, on the website, they have cool stem examples. So they have one bass, one chord, one drum, one percussion, and one vocal. That equals one unique track. So they, then they also have a visual element to them, which is also very cool. And then you see one music artist and one visual artist collaborating on the drop. So this is an AI-generated art piece that comes with each sound, getting its own visual asset that has infinite possibilities. So pretty cool stuff. A cool thing about Salomon as well is their community benefit. Benefits, right? So they list them out on the site. So first they have artist specific chat rooms for Soundmint holders. They have exclusive art related merchandise, access to exclusive events to Soundmint holders, and then Soundmint's own uh, merchandise. So I'll give you an example of what they kind of do. So they had a Genesis cloud auction that took place. All right. So the music artist is cloud and the visual artist is Alex Hooker. So again, they're collaborating on these drops. So the first edition, right? The NFT is a unique one of one that is personally curated by cloud and hooker. So it represents the artist's complete rendition of the the collection. So if you were able to get your hands on this one, you have full license rights for non-commercial use, access to cloud shows for life that are non-festival, a mint list for future sound mint cloud drops, cloud discord access, and one of one profile role, ability to have one-on-one -on -one text conversations with cloud via discord, and then a physical plaque of the one of one for the Genesis auction winner. And then they had a drop that was more general with cloud. So 5,000 editions were minted on that one. Now another cool uh, feature on their site that I kind of was interested in was the sound mint vinyls, right? So the sound mint vinyls, Vinyls are rewarded to Soundmint's earliest supporters and community members, giving them direct exposure to Soundmint's value as a platform through future opportunities such as exposure to platform earnings, governance, access to exclusive partnerships and merchandise, exclusive IRL token gated events, and much more. So I, I, I do like this model. I'm curious if they're experimenting with different genres. It would be cool to see like a lo-fi or down tempo drop as well. But right now it seems like a solely electronic heavy stems, but it's a cool project nonetheless. So head over to soundmint.xyz, start poking around, see how you like it. Um, if you're an artist, you can also apply to be part of the generative music drops as well on their site. And then the next one up on this episode is Beat Foundry. So according to their website, they said that Beat Foundry is a platform for releasing entirely on-chain generative music NFT in the same vein as Sound Mint. Each generative output is made up of musical components such as melodies, drum parts, interludes, put together on the mint to produce an output that sounds curated. So alongside that, the music is released in the MIDI format. So what is MIDI, right? So MIDI is a format for digitally communicating musical content. This is the industry standard in today's day and age when it comes to making music on DAWs. So a DAW is like Ableton, Logic, even this is even compatible with GarageBand. So when it's generated, it creates a bunch of stems that people can load up into their DAW or their program to make music and then with all of this anybody can add their own creative vision to the music through remixing instrumenting producing etc 
Each NFT will also come with the artist's fully produced interpretation of the piece so that anybody can listen to the NFT despite their ability to produce a song. So again, you'll get like a full song, but you'll also get the stems broken down. So before the mint, they upload the MIDI files to the Ethereum blockchain. Each file represents one possible part to be put together on mint to make a song. So when a wallet mints on Osarina, Ocarina, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but the Osarina's smart contract assigns their newly minted token ID a seed that represents one unique combination of musical components. So generated randomly, basically. These are full length songs that are actually generated. So the sound mint ones are 30 seconds. These are full length songs. So I'm assuming maybe one and a half minute to two minute is kind of the range. So Beat Foundry currently has six collections in progress. The next collection will be released 412, so April 12th with Oshi, who I'm actually familiar with. So after this next collection, they expect to be releasing a new collection every single month. So they tweeted uh, a drop update presenting Bridges with Oshi, April 12th, 808 total mints, 0.17 ETH each. And these are, and again, these are generative on-chain MIDI and lyrics with vocals. So this is more of a producer-heavy one compared to Salmon. Salmon is kind of one that just generates one. You can kind of mint it, get it on OpenSea. This is actually more interesting for producers because, again, you're going to get all of these MIDIs, all of these stems that generate out, which you can go and you can remix and you can do whatever you want with them. But they'll also give you a song as well, a full-length song. If you want to work with Beat Foundry, I'll kind of, uh, I'll list the information you need in the show notes today. And if you're a musician and you want to kind of get on this and be a producer that's featured one of the drops definitely go reach out to these guys all right so that is just two of the leaders in the generative music nft space a little bit different salmon again more of a broad one for people who just want to get a generated nft and then beat foundry is one if you want to actually load up these stems into their daws so that's it for today's episode i'm steve trying to put you on to all things music nfts and web3 check out put you on radio on spotify again where i talk about stories in music and web3 alongside a curated selection from the playlist network we have house music episodes we have hip-hop and r&b episodes we have chill house episodes so go check out the link in the description if you enjoy music and nfts see you guys next time and they did put me on